Hello and welcome to episode 86 and uh, for this 48 hour session I've been joined by uh, my mate Sean again last seen in episode 82 when 82, we were yeah. down in uh, Chad Lakes but for this uh, 48 hour session we've come down to Linear Fisheries we had a bit of a drive round because it is Bank Holiday Monday had a good look around, for had a good look around trying to find uh, somewhere where we wanted to fish so, Went up to Hunts first, that was busy, had a look around Oxley's. Found, found some pegs, but found some pegs, it was just a not one people yeah. so. But um anyway, but we've ended up on uh, Smith's Hardwick and we're on the Hardwick, Hardwick side. side. Hard... The Hard... Hard... Smith's is right behind yeah. us. So, so we're yeah, on the spit. We're on the Hardwick side of Smith's Hardwick. First time for me on this lake, never fished this one before, so it's all new for me. You've been here before, haven't oh, yeah, you? Yeah, I've fished this quite a lot, to be fair. I've got a lot of experience, but most of me, me linear fisheries been up here on this lake, so hopefully I can pass a bit of that wisdom on to you. Cheers. <laughs> uh, if I catch a fish, not clean it Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we're, work, right? <laughs> we're, we're, we've already got fish in, bit of a miserable day, raining, so we got the bivvies up first and yeah. what have you. But anyway, waffling now, so... um. Time to have some dinner. Yeah, it's lunchtime now, so we're going to have some dinner and then uh, we'll get back to you when there's something worth showing you. Yeah. But till then, let's go fishing. Good fishing. <laughs> Alright guys, so I thought I'd just do a quick little uh, update, it's uh, early evening time now, about half past six, maybe quarter to seven, I haven't done much filming so far today, but uh, uh, as you can probably hear on the bivvy above, and probably see it in front, it's quite wet, lashing it down. That's the reason why the camera hasn't come out much today. Not the best weather conditions to be fishing in. Well, not from the human perspective, that's for sure. But, I was laying on my bed, got a little bit bored. So I thought, just sort of show you where I'm fishing. So as you can see, I'm fishing three rods. My left down rod is fishing sort of way out of shot to the left, right over there there's some reeds right around the corner which my left down rod is fishing to. My uh, middle rod, even though it looks like it's pointing over to the right, is actually fishing about four, maybe five foot just off of that margin there. And then my right arm rod is fishing about open water, about just there, sort of about halfway between this side and the other side really. Every rod's had a scattering of boilies put over it. You see me put some out with a throwing stick earlier on. more up with a catapult because uh, when I first got here I uh, <coughs> just chucked some bags out to get fishing quick <coughs> excuse me well I'm now fishing uh, different spots every uh, spot on fishing can be baited up within catapult range Sean's probably about 40 yards off to my right, further down the bank. Be nice to hear one of these scream off now.
morning guys. Unfortunately uh, uneventful uh, night fishing. Nothing happened apart from it rained a lot. Rained pretty much all night. Kept me awake a lot of the night. Whether that affected the fishing or not, who knows. But neither me or uh, Sean had anything in the night. I did hear um, something going on on the Smith side of um, the lake behind me last night about half past twelve. So uh, this bit of land I'm on that divides the Hardwick side and the Smith side is very thin. Oh, literally about six foot behind my bivvy is the Smith side of Smith Hardwick. So any commotion that goes on over there, you can you can see it. Hear it very clear. Oh, yeah, let me spin the camera around and show you. A bit of a tree in the way, but there you go. There's the back of my bivvy, and that's the Smith side of Smith Hardwick. Literally just a gravel path that divides the two. So, but anyway, today's a new day, just been up to see Sean, he's going to be uh, putting, doing some marker work in a bit and um, sort of finding some spots to fish, it is very uh, deep out in front of us, we had a quick plod around yesterday with a lead and that, and it uh, is very deep, over 30 foot deep in some places. Uh, Anyway, let's crack on, try some different tactics, different spots, and uh, hopefully today's a bit more successful. Right, morning guys. Um, nothing last night, unfortunately, for both of us, me and Chris, so um, I've brought my stuff in this morning, I have a bit of a rethink. Um, I spoke to the bailiff this morning and yesterday, and he was on about some bars that are right there, so... I do know they're there, so what me and Chris have done is Chris helped me as well. We've um, got the marker all day, I found a nice clear spot. So now I'm just um, spawning it up nicely. Basically all that's in there is just hemp seed, sweet corn, a bit of maize, um, three different sizes of pellets, twos, fours and eights. Um, some boilies, small 10 mil boilies. And that's roughly about it really. So just fill that up. Not what you obviously you don't, everybody knows, you don't fill them all the way up, just, just enough. Yeah, you know, to give it a good distance and then get them out there. Morning guys, just been winding in me rods to do me uh, morning recast, mid morning recast and a bit of a strange occurrence. Um, not quite sure what's going on but round in me left hand rod which I showed you yesterday was um, sort, of, sort of out of shot and I have got absolutely nothing on the end of it. No rig, no leader. Nothing, just a bit of snapped line. So the only thing I can pretty much put that down to feels rough up to about there, sort of the last four or five inches. Um, I've noticed in the margins there are a lot of swan mussels. So, uh, oh no, a bit rough there as well. Looks like I might have to chop about six foot of line off. Oh, there you go. So, oh yeah, look how easy that went. So, I have noticed there are a lot of swan mussels even in the margin. So, um, the only thing I can put that down to is that maybe a swan mussel is um, clamped onto me line. At a couple of points it would seem during the night and um 
week of my line. Well, bit through it completely at one point it would seem. So, uh, yeah, because there's definitely no snags or nothing out there to uh, lose my rig on. Because when I was loading around yesterday, it's cl clean as anything out there. So, I really can only put that down to the, uh, the swan muscles. Never happened to me before, but hey ho. Have a bit of a bit of a feel down the line now, and uh, make sure it hasn't been weakened anywhere else. And guys, fishing again, uh, changing my tactics slightly. Um, after uh, when I wound in that rod and I showed he had been snapped off by a swan muscle, I uh, just, as you've just seen, I just cast a rod. That was actually my third rod back out fishing. I'm fishing tight lines now. Normally when I fish, nine times out of ten I always use flying back leads and back leads. But if uh, them swan muscles are going to be a problem with um, biting the line off, well, you ain't going to catch fish like that. So uh, all three rods are tight lines now. I don't normally do it. don't really like doing it, apart from when I'm zig fishing. But I think to keep the line off the deck, it's um, it's something you're gonna have to do. If I get, if I do catch a fish, it shouldn't be a problem too much with tight lines because all three of my rods are um, spread out, and fishing all sort of different areas really. So uh, playing a fish sort of round my rods shouldn't be a problem. Fishing uh, pop-ups as well on all three rods now as well because um, after I showed you that rod that I had the uh, cut off. Now well, one of my rods actually had a little zebra mussel clamp round the hook so really I only had one rod fishing all night <laughs> so I'm gonna get a bite with a zebra mussel um, clamp round the hook am I? So, so all my hooks are off the deck now by about an inch by uh, fishing pop-ups now so, uh, change tactics slightly, and hopefully that can uh, produce some results. Right, leave it there, and uh, hopefully something can happen. guys it's the uh, last morning of the last day and uh, well it's been a bit rubbish really hasn't it? It's, it has um, been. it's been very tough fishing absolutely nothing has happened whatsoever I thought it was on this morning but it was a swan <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only thing that's woke me up this morning is the swan as well bumping into me rods yeah. rain was so heavy last night that woke me up about half past four this morning atrocious well. absolutely weather's been a bit mental are we blaming the weather for this weather <laughs> session? Yeah, got to be. Gotta yeah, be the weather has been a well, bit... Say, you just spoke to some other people and they're saying it's yeah. been well. Yeah, well, so Sean was... Um, we were yesterday talking about toying with the idea of packing up Bonnie early. 
and moving over to uh, B1 on the run water of the complex here and um, trying to at least get a fish for the camera but I've just been for a walk over there myself, chatted to a couple of lads and they said nothing's happening over there either and that's on the run water so um, if there's guys on the run water packing up early then uh, it don't give us much hope really for one of the other waters uh, on this complex does it? No. So, Sort of think like packing up now. Yeah, I've already started a slow pack down. Yeah. I mean, we have got up, got about another five hours of paid fishing in front of us if we want, but I don't think I'm, bother, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably, probably going to stick out for another couple of hours, but then start getting the main bulk away and then think about starting to pack up and then go and have a shower and refresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. again the weekend. You need it. Yeah, you do as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. Uh, a, a lot of you guys will know I'm, I'm back on my syndicate, that's why there's going to be a bit less blogging for me from now on, so um, I'm concentrating more on my syndicate this year. My goal this year is to beat my PB, and uh, I've been on my syndicate twice so far. Once I had a, a £19.5 on my very first session, I'll uh, quickly show you a picture of that now. Yeah, so not a bad fish that one for me first night back on the syndicate. And uh, my second time I was on there, I just had a bream session, which went the best. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was not it. Yeah, so uh, I'll probably be back on my syndicate again in a couple of weeks' time. But if nothing happens in the next couple of hours, this is going to be the yeah. last bit. It's been a good social anyway, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been a Yeah, we've had a, yeah. had a few laughs and... Yeah. What not? It's just been not successful yeah, fishing wise. Yeah. So, if nothing happens between sort of now and two hours' time, then this will be the final bit. Thanks for watching if you've stuck it out this long. Yeah. So, my next session is only in a couple of days' time where I'm going to be uh, back at the Islands Cut Fishery. Not been there for about nine months now, so. Yeah, I've done all the meat, so. Yeah. yeah, so it's all good to look forward to that. So yeah. Thanks back from this. <laughs> right, anyway, leave it there. You know, there probably ain't going to be nothing else to show you from here on, but that's fishing, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. Like you said this morning, you can't catch all the time. <laughs> no. <you? laughs> oh well, till next time, tight lines. Thank you very much. Well, we'll, let, we'll edit that one out. <laughs> That's one for the blooper reel. <laughs>